Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make some super awesome looking text in Photopea really easily and fast. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first text we're going to be doing is going to be some bevel and emboss. I've been messing around with it recently and there's some cool things you can do with it. So I got my text here. I'm using lemon milk bold font. You can find that on defont.com. If you double click on this, go up to color overlay. First I want to make it white so I can see it. Click bevel and emboss. And I have the settings already on here, but I'm going to reset them so it should look like it should look like pretty bad, but you just want to adjust the depth, size, and soften to your liking. Like that. Make sure the color down here is black or whatever color you want to be the darker color. I think black looks nice on white. So don't mess with these. I changed this one to multiply, this mode. Leave the rest the same here in my settings. And that's all for this text. I also changed the angle to 76 degrees, but that's preference. So that's that. Okay, so for the next text, we have this one right here, which has a 3D look to it. I really like this look, and I'm sure you guys would too. Let me show you guys what it has. It has a color overlay, which is just white, 100% opacity, normal blend mode, so basically default. And then it has a drop shadow with 100% spread, which is the same every time. Um, the color is red. You want the angle to be 90 degrees, opacity 100, and you can adjust the distance and size however much you'd like. So that's all that has. This one right here kind of has the same look as this one, but this one looks more metallic-y. It looks kind of like metal, you could say. But let's show you guys what is inside. So we got satin and a color overlay. So these are really simple, but they're really easy to do. So that's why I put them together. Just default settings with white color. And then for the satin, I chose the blend mode to be multiply. The color's up to you. I think black looks the best on it for the style I'm going for. And then the distance and size is this, but you could choose whatever works best for you. And the blend mode is multiply. I think I might've already said that. Oh well, but that's all there is to that one. This one right here looks like this one, but it has some really cool color to it. I really like this one. It's probably my favorite one on here, but all it has is a gradient overlay instead of a color overlay, and the gradient goes from light blue to white. And these are the settings. It's just default, pretty sure. And so you might be wondering how I got the purple color if it's only blue to white. Well, the satin I actually changed to a purple, so... That's why there's purple at the top and it sort of fades away into the bottom. These are the settings for it. Blend mode multiply, opacity, turn that down a bit or else it looks like this. So you just want it to be subtle, nothing too much. And that's all there is to that one. The next one is this one right here, which looks like rice gums text in his thumbnails. This one is super easy. Color overlay is just white. And then you have two strokes. You have a black stroke which is in the inside. And then you have another stroke, which is white and it's on the outside. That's all there is to that one. It's super simple, but it does look clean. So, okay, the next one's right here. It kind of looks like it has a stroke, but at the same time, it looks like a glow. So this one's kind of unique as well, but it's super easy too. I just have a white color overlay with an outer glow, but for the blend mode, I chose linear dodge, which made it look like this. So. I never really use linear dodge, but sometimes I do. And the spread is 47, size is 15. You guys can adjust this however much you'd want, but I kind of want it to just be an outline. I think it looks good that way, and if you turn the opacity to 100, it won't look like a glow as much. The next one is just white with a glow, which I think it looks kind of cool. Just a white color overlay with the drop shadow that is gray, and you can see all my settings here and adjust them however much you'd like. I think it looks pretty nice. So let's move on to the next one. 
So the next one, all I have on it is a gradient overlay, and I just changed the style to radial. Make sure it's 90 degrees, and the blend mode is pen light. And I just chose these colors for the gradient. It looks pretty cool, kind of simple. I don't think I'd ever use it, but I'm sure there are some situations that you would use it. So there it is. The next one up here is the green one. It looks really good, honestly. It's This one's one of the more difficult ones. It's not difficult at all, but it's a little more complex. All I had was a stroke, but with the stroke, I changed the blend mode to overlay, which basically shows the background. I kind of like it. And I also chose the color to white, which is pretty important as well. So make sure you do that. The size is five. For the inner glow, it's just green. Turn the opacity to about 70%, and I adjusted the spread and size a little bit. That's all I did to the inner glow for the gradient. I did the simple fade to from dark green to light green. And then the rest are the same, or just default. And then for outer glow, I just did a green. Turn the opacity up to 100. Change the color to green. Adjusted the spread and size a little bit. I never really mess with any of the other stuff, so don't worry about that and let's move on to the next one so now we have text number 10 which is this one right here this one's pretty simple but you might not notice there's actually an inner glow it's a subtle touch but I think it's a nice addition because this is it without it this is it with it it really makes it look nice so just a white stroke normal blend mode five size we got an inner glow on there it's white and I turn the opacity to about 60 because if you turn it up it just it's too much so I turned that to about 60 and I adjusted the spread and size so it was very subtle. That's all I did to that one and also a pink color overlay. So that's all there is to that one. For the next one, we have this little like, it reminds me of when the TV like beeps, you know, it's like that, that, I don't know, it's a, it's an old thing, but like, you know what I'm talking about. It has like all the color lines on there. I'm not even sure what that is. And for the gradient, just adjusted the scale and turned it down to about 20, and it did that, which I think it's really cool looking. And that's all I did to this one. It's really simple. I didn't do much to it, but it looks like you did. So just hit OK. Moving on to the next one, I have this one. This one actually is my favorite. It's the 80s, the retro 80s look. And this one's also very easy to achieve. All I did was add an inner glow that was overlay. That's very important. The color was white, the opacity was about 60, and the spread and size 10 and 10. And for the gradient, all I did was change these colors to obviously these colors. But with the inner glow, look how important it is. When you add it, it just gives it like a glow. It's really nice. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I think that's a nice touch to it. These are all super easy to make. I hope you guys try some of these out. If you are interested, I will leave the link to this file in my description below and you guys can open it yourselves and look through all the text if you want, but that's completely up to you guys. Thank you guys for the support recently. I really appreciate it and I will keep looking at your guys' um, graphic design competition submissions and I will let you guys know next week. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.